Kinan from Syria. Last question, Kinan, you're lucky. Uh, uh, my question is about to Dabbatullah. Dabbatullah. Uh, the Hadith of Salim al-Dali was so great uh, detail. And uh, explaining the physical appearance of the Prophet. Uh, the Hadith of Tamim al-Dali. No, no. Hadith of Tamim al-Dali speaks about the Jasasa. That's different from the Dabbatul Ab. Okay. okay, go ahead. Dabbatul Ab, in one of your lectures, I'm confused about the conference between the Sat and Dabbatul Ab. Okay. So, can you explain? Okay. Jasasa, wala tajasasu. Suratul Hujurat. Wala tajasasu. Jasasa. Someone who spies, spying. So the island where the Jal is going to be located when he's released, and this is the book that deals with that subject, Jerusalem and the Quran. That island is an island with expertise in espionage, spying, James Bond kind of stuff. And I identified it as Britain. But Da'abatul Ard is another subject. And that is located in the Quran. Da'abatul Ard. The hadith on Da'abatul Ard are so few that it is difficult to get a handle on the subject. I expressed an opinion. The Da'abatul Ard or the creature, the beast of the Holy Land is the state of Israel. But this is my opinion. And I warned you not to accept my opinion, didn't I? Until you convinced that it is correct. But Sheikh Safar al Hawari in Saudi Arabia, who is a Sheikh I respect, he's a man who thinks, he's a man with insight. That's why he went to jail. <laughs> Sheikh Safar wrote a book entitled Yawmul Ghadar and in that book he says this is my opinion that the Dabbat al Ard is a Zionist movement between his, his opinion and my opinion is a line as short as this our two views are almost the same but we are expressing an opinion we can be right, we can be wrong and Allah knows that Okay. Allah fahab li tawba tawa ufi dhulubi fa'inna ka ghaa